Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Evan Karlberg and today we're going to be having a look or another look at the S&P 500. So the last time we had a look at the S&P 500 we were around about this point here um, just at the top of this channel and we said that it likely was going to fall back down and that we were waiting to see where a potential bounce point would be before looking for a long trade. So now as we can see um, we've hit the midpoint of the channel just over here and we've seen a bounce. In addition, what we've seen is that, just let's get rid of that, just one second. Um, bear with me. The other thing that we can see is that we're trending close to this 50 day moving average. So we haven't quite broken back above, but we also haven't fallen too far, too far below. And it's kind of acted as a good medium point through both the um, through this downward trend. So as you can see, we've broken through, we've come back up, broken through, come back up, and really trended downwards through this kind of um, using this 50 period moving average is almost a mid midpoint. So next step for us is well, is this chart going to go bounce back off this midpoint and go back up to the top, or are we actually going to fail this 50 period moving average? and fall back down. Now having a look at the rest of the, the our indicators, what we can see is on the MACD, we are coming towards the end of our kind of red period here. I'm almost going to cross back below zero, hopefully, potentially for another move back up. And in addition, on our RSI, we've hit a bottom again. And you can see most of the time after we've hit this bottom, we've been able to bounce up to a level. So going forward, it wouldn't be unrealistic to expect that this chart or this price of the S&P 500 is able to bounce to the top of the channel and maybe even break out through this point. If not, a short opportunity will probably exist at the top of the channel where we can maybe write it back down. But for now, we are just waiting to see if we're able to reclaim that 50 day moving average and go to the top of the channel or whether we fall back down to the bottom potentially going this direction. So there you go guys. Thanks for listening to our update on the S&P 500 and good luck trading.